previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. No. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. How is this going to do that? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? Wow, that... That's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the Redstone Heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. All right, time to go home. Yes, please. I can't believe we're finally this close. Ah, feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. Wait, you're from here? Uh-huh. What's the big deal? It's a big deal because we've been in the old builder's world this whole time and you didn't tell us. There was never a natural time to bring it up. Kinda thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. Oh, come on, Harper. Going home is fun. You should be excited. <laughs> Clearly, you've never met the others before. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old Builder Social Politics. My goodness. Yikes. If you're the nicest Old Builder, these other ones must be really terrible. Hey, too mean. I'm trying to help here, all right? Well, you're going to give us the Atlas, and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, Old Builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? Harper, I thought that's why we brought you. To convince them to hand over the Atlas. You're not gonna let us down, right? I'm gonna do my best, but I warn you now that there could be... complications. What kind of... complications? You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? No, I think she's definitely hiding something. But if we're going to get home, we need her help. Agreed. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get that Atlas and get home. I'm sorry to hear you feel that way, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise you both, I am trying to help. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. Very what? Thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? <laughs> ah!
we have here. Seems as if some new competitors have entered the match. My, isn't that special? I just, what in the world did Harper dump us into? It's like some sort of crazy game. Really? You think this is a Hold game? Up. Jesse's right. Spleef. Is it tight? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, be my dear! <laughs> TNT back of the gladiators. Nice one, brah. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I And think... now you're just trying to be all buddy-buddy? You killed one of my best friends. Hey, I don't care about your compliments, and I'm definitely not your brah. Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately! This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Well? Okay, you're in charge. Awesome. Now, can you just explain what the heck is going on here? What's going on here is you just ruined our round of spleef. Attacking competitors? Horrid! And technically against the rules. Ugh, lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. Oh, well, if that isn't the cutest little threat I've ever heard. Okay, just tell me straight. What are these games that you keep talking about? I think if we all just calm down, I can explain. Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. But I saw them die. How are they alive? Oh, I'm not surprised that you're confused. Tiny brains. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. We're from another world. Yeah? You and everyone else here, Pipsqueak. You know what you are, champ? 
You're just a little gate crasher. And what do we do with gate crashers? Kill them and send them to the mines. Back off, muscles. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, champ, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? Oh, adorable. We came for the Atlas. I want you to hand it over so my friends and I can go home. Straight into the point. Well, I'd like it. If I weren't simmering with barely controlled rage right now. Hmm. We're, of course, not going to do any of those things, but admirable try. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. What if I was about to change your mind? Oh, that'd be hard, because see, I could be watching Slab squash you right now, which would be highly entertaining. Squash! I love it when he does that. What could you possibly offer that's better than that, Slugger? I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable. For fun. This is not against the rules. Technically, they are still in the games. They don't deserve to be here, Hadrian. It's interesting. I think they could bring some excitement. Yes, well, I see your point. They haven't been eliminated. Therefore, they could still be... Out! I want them out! <laughs> I'd be delighted to have them in the mines. I present the Eversource crown. Wait, why do I recognize that? Oh, that's the crown we put on the Eversource chickens so we'd be able to tell them apart from the regular chickens. Oh, that was a good party, huh? Sadly, not exactly valuable. How about a white pumpkin? Oh, wow. Haven't seen one of those since Cassie left. Oh, don't say that name. She still gives me nightmares. <laughs> Is that who you got that from? I don't know what she told you, but those things aren't exactly valuable. What about this? Huh? I present the Redstone Heart. Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. <coughs> Harper! <laughs> oh, don't you get started, Mevia. Nuh-uh, Hadrian. You're not getting one finger on this thing until you hand over my friends. I'm not a big fan of haggling, Jesse. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals, I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. You've caught me in a forgiving mood. Clearly, things have been getting out of hand. Let's start over and see if we can reach an agreement. Okay. Okay, fine. I can always appreciate someone trying to be reasonable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I... Need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So, how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. Can't wait to see what the other games are. I hope they're fun. Well, there you have it. A deal's been struck, huh? To the games! All right then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, event. Enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. 
wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Sort of hoped I had left all his negotiating behind me. Don't know how I put up with him for so long. Harper, how bad is this going to be? Give it to me straight. It's not going to be a cakewalk, that's for sure. Hadrian has people play the games now just for his own amusement. Yeah, he seemed like a real treat. Ugh, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village, sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep, at least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. They're just stuck here, unable to leave. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. Mm. <sighs> they didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games, but it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back and well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines, which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Well, then we're just going to have to get them out. See what you can do here. I'm going to try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. we got to get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Um, hello? Don't you hello, face meat? Wait a minute. You're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab. And face meat doesn't look cheaters. Don't stand around breathing a ball of face meat air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. Hey, what do you even do around here? Face meat cracks skulls and thinks about cracking more skulls. When face meat has time, that is. What do you know about the old builders who run this place? Well, one, they hate being called old builders. Two, their face meets bosses. Three, they're not big on hugs. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meets watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at face meet. With your face. Please. Pretty please let them go? Mm. Face me knows not to let prisoners out. Oh, but giant eyes. Oh. Well, there is something you can do. Face me was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So face me's hungry. Do something about that, and face me'll think about getting your friends out. Uh, hey. 
You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Your stupid teammate killed Lucas. Yeah, I couldn't believe Nell pulled that off either. Don't forget they respawned, duh. Don't cry about it. We were doing what we had to do to win. Until you screwed up everything. Next round! If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long? So you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything. And they are completely under Hadrian's control. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Have you ever won the games? Yeah, I won, but... I decided to give up the prize of going home to stay in this awesome place longer. Of course I haven't won. Yeah, well... Good luck with getting home. Wooden plank solid. Wow, hey, you are that crazy person in Extreme's belief. Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most. But not even a third of what Tim was. Who's Tim? Oh my gosh, where do I start? Okay. Okay, Tim. Legendary Tim. The Tim. First off, Tim is my hero. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. He's perfect. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. Hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. Hey, where'd you get that book you're reading? Oh, this? Fished it out some respawn's inventory after he... He's <sighs> got some tales of adventure, feelings, and other dumb stuff. Hey, wait a minute! You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower! Yeah, and this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours! Let me guess, you want this back? Cause I'm actually enjoying myself! There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here, and I like to read slow to absorb it better, so I'm gonna be a while! Yeah, hand it over, meathead. And Slav, the immovable! Get out of here before I use this book to punch your face in! Fine. I just want to get through one more chapter. <laughs> Excuse me. Psh, wow, rude. Hey. Get out of here before I see if I can attach this sign to your head. It's so nice when new contestants are in the village. It's lovely having fresh meat for us gladiators to destroy. Would it be possible for me to uh, have some of that bread? It's for that guy over there. Seriously? I'm not falling for that. No bread until lunchtime. Get out of here before I make you into a meal. Anyone have any food I can borrow or will have? I guess I should ask around. Oh, shovel planet. Nice. Wow, they look focused. They must really want to win this thing. Here lies the platform on which Tim stood to win these great games. Hope I'll be standing there soon. Unless you got.
got food. I don't want to talk to you. From Spleef, you were like amazing. I know, <laughs> and I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your prods upset, especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> it um, well, it wasn't very chill. I understand, Nell. These games are nuts. Man, I am so glad to hear that. I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that, and you'll be like, Tim status. Tim, like one, like you could. People are like already talking about it. They're gonna like say stuff, compare you to Tim. It might be a little uncomfortable, or not. It's cool. I'm not here to be a Tim. I just want to get home. But that's like exactly what makes you Tim status. Tim didn't want to be Tim either. He got his whole team home. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you, so if you ever need anything, you just come and ask. Shall? No, I mean seriously. I mean anything at all. Like I want to help out people. Like be a good person, you know? Well, actually, I'm trying to bribe that guard. Face me, and he's hungry. Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash, and if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, quick before anybody sees us. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One, planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Wait, I saw a few wood planks by the dojo. Right on. Thank you, Nell. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Should be enough for a table. Aha! That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Should be able to get my friends back. Um, hello? Hey, face me. Got some bread for you. Bread, huh? <laughs> it's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Mm, fresh bread. Please get my friends. <laughs> Face me appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Hey, Petra. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. Back with Palma, you picked Lucas, and so today in that stupid game, I worried. Well, what I'm trying to say is, 
Thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and I thought I should say something. I still feel awful about picking Lucas over you with Palma. I'm really sorry. It's okay. What's important is that you saved me this time. And I still have all my stuff. I'm glad you're with me in this, Petra. Me too. Here! Oh, I response! Jesse, man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. And Ivor. Uh, what are you wearing? Right. Shut up! My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway, how's it been going out here? You, uh, you don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary! I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Don't worry, we're just in this tournament where if we win, we get the Atlas and our ticket home. Oh, well that's better than I thought. But if we lose, we'll be mining for quartz forever. Nope, that is not a thing I want. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> It's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just... Uh, stare at you while you mine. It's been terrible! And we weren't in there that long. Lucas, I'm sorry, we can't just leave. We made a deal. We have two more games to compete in. Well, hopefully we can get that over with quick. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. Oh, great. What do you two want? Hey, now. Otto just wanted to meet you. Don't be mad. Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep. A real Tim. Really interesting. You being here. I can feel change in the air. Great, as long as I get to go home. That is the point. But you have to win first. And my job is to make sure everybody, even Hadrian, plays by the rules. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes. Wonderfully! Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the games. And it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleet, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course, about our plucky newcomers. Otto, shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. I wonder how this is gonna go. These other losers don't look so tough. 
I can't believe how much they love this Tim guy. What's up with that? No idea. Definitely weird, though. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line, huh? A race. We've totally got this. <laughs> got this, huh? Boom. Surprise locker room visit. Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian. And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ. What's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. We have appearances to keep up here. I'm just looking forward to a fair contest where the best person wins. Well, listen to this little pillar of nobility, huh? Don't you worry. That's what these games are all about. Just ask Tim. I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? Whatever you're throwing at us can't be any worse than the other stuff we've already survived. Oh, really? Because it seems like two members of your team have already been eliminated. Yeah, and there's two left. More than enough to win this. Yes, perhaps we should just get on with this. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but... Uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Thanks, Em. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. And you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. M might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. How can I trust you? You can trust me. Or... You can take a slab to the face. <laughs> you got a point. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay too. I'm sure you'll be fine. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. Gladiator Junction? That sounds awesome. At least we won't have to fight her and the gladiators. I'm ready for this. Those gladiators are going down. Hint, it's going to involve a lot of punching and kicking and all around awesomeness. Remember, there's no I in teamwork, Petra. Yeah, but there is a me in I'm going to kick their butts. I just like wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together and I'm glad that M like totally suggested that we can do this uh yeah I knew that you were cool from the moment we met competitors on your mark get set go
did it. This has been pretty tough. Can't wait to see what else they throw at us. Get ready to witness some greatness. Greatness, huh? Huh? Out of the way, chumps. Sounds like this is Gladiator Junction, but where are the gladiators? For the fun part. I sure hope so. Come on, then. Glad she's with us, Jesse. You're mine. I've been dreaming about this since sleep. Oh, yeah, Slab, because you seem pretty outnumbered. Just means more fun for me. We'll see about that, right, Em? Em? <laughs> By squishy. What? Jesse, got your back. Go. Go. No. Looks like you're all alone yeah, now. That's mad. Pay for that one, Clutch! Move it! No, you don't! <laughs> Here comes the boom! <laughs> Maybe I can still win this thing. Dude, I am like so close. I could do this. Sorry, Nell. I'm winning this thing. Hey! Whoa, whoa, Jesse! Way to catch up, dude. Very nice. You just can't take a hit, can you? Get huh? dunked on! Whoa! Slacker! Whoa! No! Oh, come on! For you? Thanks for saving me. Yeah, I don't mention it.
This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. And the winner of the lava race, the gladiator formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse respond yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. Jesse looks very heated. You tried to kill me! I. I had to. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No, no, no please! probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. No, I get it, Em. I might have even done the same thing in your position. Well, I'm glad that you get it wasn't personal, at any rate. I... I gotta go. Okay, respawning is the worst. You! Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Hadrian doesn't like to be kept waiting. And are you mad, too? Mad I didn't get eliminated? No. No? Because you seem mad. Yeah, okay, fine. I'm mad that he wouldn't let me kill you a few times before I brought you upstairs. And you should know I asked. Come on. No. Just Jess. <sighs> Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. <sighs> okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. Give me one sec. I want to talk to him. You're gonna get me in trouble. Hurry up. Hey, what's up? Hi, Jesse. I'm Sebastian. Um, I know you're about to see the old builders, and I just wanted to say, please... Just don't make them mad. Whatever they want you to do, just do it. It is way worse for us when they're mad. We're just happy you're here. I know, you're so busy. I, I'm just a minor. Of course, Sebastian. I'm always happy to help out. Then please keep helping us. It's so much nicer around here when they aren't mad. We sometimes get cake. I don't want to keep you, but some of the miners and I, well, we made you something. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. Wow, thank you. You didn't have to do this. Jesse, come on! Now we're gonna be late and I'm gonna get in trouble. Just the most not cool. Quit whining, Slab. It's super unbecoming. Oh, I am gonna enjoy squishing you at some point. So this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... <sighs> mm, just do that a whole bunch. Mm. This is incredible. Such amazing use of scale and angles. Right? Knew you'd be impressed. I get to hang out here whenever I want. But why am I standing around? I gotta go find Hadrian. Thanks to you, we're late. Oh, and don't touch anything. 
Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. No portal, Atlas. A man forever voyaging by... Soren, another one? Where do these keep coming from? Now that's a view. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas! Psst, hey, Bat! Hey, Batsy! Oops! I've never seen a quartz desk before. Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. It's quite the little journey. A humble adventurer. Lost in the portal network. Now, just one more victory away from owning the Atlas. <laughs> Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Hadrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal? More terms? <laughs> you can look closer. Go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Doesn't that bug you? Aren't these supposed to be your games? And they are still my games. I love having a legend that can inspire my competitors. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. Tell me something, Hadrian. Do you even have a point when you start talking? Or you just hope to find one along the way? Because I'm getting really tired of listening to you blab. Whoa, wow, well, that's just kind of rude, champ. <laughs> Haven't you heard that patience is a virtue? See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. <laughs> of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> go! Axel! Olivia! Hey, Jesse! Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here! Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. I'm gonna get you guys free, I promise. It's great to hear that you're not a prisoner, at least. Well, I kind of am. Different. Oh. I'm just glad we're all back together. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow, this is just... Wow, such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Reuben. Reuben. 
sub. I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Who, uh, who's that? Ruben, of course. No, he's not. Ruben's a pig. Uh, yeah, funny story. Name is Ruben, but yeah, not a pig. <sighs> so you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse, incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? You're messing with the wrong guy. And his friends. Yeah, they're awesome! Just being supportive? I'm not messing with anyone. I'm just trying to maintain my games here. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you could win these games? Wow, tough one. That's actually kind of a good deal. Uh, yeah. Except the part where Jesse would be stuck here forever. Oh, yeah. No, I take that back. It's a terrible deal. No way, Hadrian. I don't make deals with cheaters. Fine. Play it your way. Which is to say, I will crush you. And you won't win anyway. Slab! Get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. Come on, idiot. Uh, uh, uh. Jesse, you're okay. What happened up there? Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. <gasps> I didn't take the deal. Oh, I guess that was probably the right move. Probably? <laughs> what, you thought that deal sounded good? I don't know. It's a complex situation. Uh, in case you missed it, if I took that deal, I'd be in the mines forever. Except now, win or lose, you'll have friends doomed to the same fate. <sighs> Jesse was smart. Hadrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So, who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. He seems like a big fan of the rules. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Huh. He loves rules, that's for sure. Always plays by them. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. Harper, Hadrian still has my friends trapped in that obsidian prison. I can win the Atlas, but I'm gonna need you to get them out. I can handle it. Good, there's three of them. They're in Hadrian's office. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. Oh, it's impossible is what it is. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. Come on.
tomorrow we have to stand up to the old builders together. Um, actually, I think you mean the gladiators. They're the ones that keep kicking our butts in the games. Uh, actually, actually, the gladiators work for the old builders and they never want us to be able to win. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. It's useless. Don't you want to go home, Em? I do, more than anything. But nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey, Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Oh yeah, because if it were not for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. That's right, Tim did beat the games and so can we. <laughs> yeah, sure, except nobody's been able to do it since Tim. So what's the point? And it's not like I haven't been trying. We all have. Oh, come on, sure, Tim's a legend, but we're better than Tim. Better than Tim. Tim somehow beat all those gladiators alone. I don't think any of us are better than that. Yeah, I mean, well, it's like an inspiring idea and all that, but those gladiators are like super tough. And I don't know how Tim pulled off beating them, but okay, look, for real, I don't think I could do that. Like max level scariness, okay, boo. Oh no, no, I mean totally OP. Those gladiators are a bunch of tough cookies. Definitely true. No way any of you stand a chance against them. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? But that's just because you've never had a leader to help you make a plan. You've never... Oh, I get it now. And with my help, we're gonna do this even better than Tim did. We're gonna do it as a team. Those old builders think they're the greatest thing since chiseled quartz, but we will show them that that is not true. Right now, Hadrian's up in that tower, plotting how he's going to beat us all. But what he doesn't know is that his plans are doomed from the start. Because they are going down. Yeah! Look, it was a nice speech. But strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. Strength comes from believing in yourself, Em. Sounds like a bunch of nonsense, Jesse. Sorry. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. It had to, or else we're in big trouble. Yeah. That last game is all or nothing. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game! That's right, Hadrian. And not just any day, but the final day of the game. Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The it's walls. The walls. So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. You can tell me if you were scared. Can I be honest with you? I am a little scared. I'm worried. <laughs> scared. <laughs> oh, I guess that's what I get for being honest. Mavia, for those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come down. Yeah. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that gonna be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Of course. Whatever, I'll make it work. I'm that awesome. Oh, can't wait. 
Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Bevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. Gladiators! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials, because that clock is ticking! Dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Oh, choices are funny, aren't they, Mevian? What do you mean, Hadrian? Some choices take. Nope, they're just dirt. Others, come on! Nothing but dirt and gravel in your section. Ah. Ha. Oh, it's yep, true. just it's dirt. True. If I didn't convince people to join up with that speech, I'm gonna need something to work with. Gravel, that's worse than dirt. I'm guessing that's the eponymous wall. At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down! Uh, this should be interesting. There. The competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Really? Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Let's hope. Now hang on, Em, you don't have to do this. Already made up my mind. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. I try believing in myself for once and take a chance. It appears Emily has opted to not strike down the unarmed newcomer, and the other competitors are following suit. Wait, what's going on? Thank you, you made the right decision. Well, you could say you really inspired me. Oh, well, that's... Could, but don't. What is Em doing? Why is she doing that? I have no idea. Come on. Over here! Yeah! Why aren't you all killing each other? Tja, man, I can totally see why you'd be confused. Yeah, we're, uh, confused. I mean, usually the little teams all kill each other, you know? We're not killing each other because we're done fighting, Slab. It's over. Uh-huh. So why do you still have your weapons out? Done fighting each other. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them! They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that the gladiators are being idiots right now. Idiots! When what they should be doing is eliminating Jesse! These aren't your games anymore, Hadrian. Uh, uh, th these weren't our games? Wow. My urge to destroy is dissipating. Oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Oh, uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon, right? With Slab leading the charge, it should be no problem at all. You should be on our side. Join us. I don't know. Facemeat finds that idea weird. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, 
I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. Wow, Slab, I'm so proud of... Let me finish. You made me late when I was just trying to do my job, and that was real inconsiderate too. And then you really rubbed it in my face, reminding me I couldn't kill you. Hmm, even though I really wanted to at the time. I think I need some time to be my own boss. I think it's time for us to finish this together. It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. That won't happen. It can't happen. No, no. And they've done it! The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all the winners! Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them? No, we are not! They all win! Uh, no! Mevia, Otto, with me! We're ending this! So help me, none of you will leave this place until you eliminate each other! Not happening. Oh, don't even get me started with you, Emily! I don't know, Hadrian. I heard Mevia explaining the rules. She explicitly said that whoever steps onto the winner's platform would be declared the winner. And here I am. It's over. No, no, no. Jesse's got a point. This isn't up to you. We control the games. We decide their outcome. Mevia. Shut up, Otto! This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun! Seems like you're losing your temper there, Mevia. What's the matter? Not having fun anymore? Why, you little... Now, Mevia, Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse... With the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay. Oh, no. What are you doing? Now it's been fun, really, but I think it's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart now, now, because uh, I will trap you here forever. I am 100% fine with that course of action. It's true. He'll do it. But is that really what you want? You want the redstone heart? You're going to have to pick it out of my inventory. Fine by me. The heart weighs more fun anyway. Ah! Oh, this is useless. Well, well. Just when you thought M had your back. Now that you've lost your oversized friend, you really don't stand a chance. Run away, little Emily. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. I'll admit you're quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. No, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta admit, kid, you've shown you got skills, but you're still no we'll match. see about that. I got this, Hadrian. Ah! Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right. This has gone too far. It was just supposed to be a game. You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you forgive me? <laughs> This game is no! And that's our game, sports fans. The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners. <laughs> I, I lost. It's over. Oh, I, I don't think so. 
It's us! Yeah! I'm so happy to see you guys! You said you believed in me, Jesse! Figured I'd return the favor and believe in everyone else! You know, because I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. As someone once told me, teamwork makes the dream work. So let's get to work! Let's take them down. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome! Here, buddy. Wow! Take this! Thanks. Hey, suspenders! Over here! Tim's armor. Belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt! Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, yeah, nice not choice. Bad. Sweet. Pay that ah, time. Eliminate! Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime! Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor! Oh, well, isn't that just the sweetest thing, Hadrian? So sweet and so pathetic, Mevia. You don't know my friends, Hadrian. Those friends of yours will just hold you back in the end, slugger. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy crushing you. Yeah! <laughs> For now, Bucko. Hey, Hadrian! Huh? Over here! You mess with one member of the Order of the Stone. You mess with all Go, of Jesse! Us. I believe Time in you! Time to shut you up! You think this is going to help? You're deluded! Come on! Never could have won on your own. Wish you had friends like mine yet? Shut up! Just shut up! Alia, shut up! I see you don't like having a live audience, Hadrian. Come on! Jesse! Remember Spleet! Got it. Now, Mevia, we have to get out of here. Come on! Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Guys! How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best. And you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on. Hang on! Jesse, you did it! Again! Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. 
Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Start over. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I have come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? when I yanked Pama's redstone heart right out. And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. Is that all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. That's what I do. Exploring new worlds, helping people wherever I go. I was happy to help. Well, I'm very grateful. What you did won't be forgotten anytime soon. I'm bummed my journal never showed up. Had a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lucas. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends. But what if I'm bored? Well, if you want, you can come with us. Oh, really? Like, really? Yeah, we could always use another awesome person, and... Well, you're pretty awesome. Ah, oh, Jesse! That's wonderful! Oh, thank you so much! Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello! What you doing? I was just observing Harper. All by herself, over there. She seems lonely. Come on. Hey, Harper. Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm going to head on back to Crown Mesa and see how the Post Palma construction is going. Just hope they'll take me back. It's not my real home, but. It's the closest thing I've had for, well, a long time. We'll just go with that. Don't worry. I'm sure they'll come around. I sure hope you're right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Getting over the I was a bad guy hump can be awkward, but hopefully soon they'll invite you right back into their lives. Right, Jesse? You are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other, all right? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. Yes, goodbye. Come on. You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Uh, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, Book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! 
incredible. Wow. Nice. There it is. Home. I assume M told you that she's coming with? Yeah, she's already promised to show me that awesome spin move. It's not so great. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it! We're home! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yes, it does feel pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw, that's lovely. Ah, you big sap. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! That's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The crown of the Eversource. The magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! The mask of Cassie Rose, a.k.a. the White Pumpkin. Oh man, that's even creepier looking than I imagined. Pama's Redstone Heart. I know that Pama was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Ah, I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. Mm. Sorry. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, flint and steel are missing, too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. Eh, he'll be back eventually. After everything we've been through, I think I finally trust him. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go home.
in a very unfortunate and unexpected turn of events, it appears we are in the land of zombies that are indeed the size of chickens. Zombies that are the size of chickens. That's right, Adrian. And it looks like they're dying to meet us. <laughs> Get it? Because they're undead and they're dead. Oh, never mind. Not your best work, Mavia. 